In this video, I will show you how to make a 100 plus commands but without coding. By the way, I divided this video in 4 steps so it will easy for you to understand and also at the end of the video I showed how you can host your bot 24 7 hours for free. You can also check the timestamps given in the description. Alright let's start. Go to any browser and search Discord Developer Portal, then click on the first link. Now go to Application section. And click on New Application to create your bot, enter the name of your bot which you want and click on Create. From here you can change your bot name and profile, I will select any random one. After that, go to Bot section, click on Add Bot button, and then click on Yes do it. Now go to OAuth 2 section. Then go to URL generator, in scopes, select bot, and from the bot permissions, select your permissions for the bot, if you don't want any. Then copy the generated URL, and invite the bot to your server. Number 2, Creating MongoDB URL To get started, search MongoDB in your browser, and then click on the first link of MongoDB website. Here, you will find two options, one try free and second sign in. So if you don't have any account then click on try free, and if you already have an account then click on sign in. I will sign in, because I already have an account, it will automatically redirect me to my clusters. Once you are here, go to network access and click on add IP address here, select allow access from anywhere, and then click on confirm. Now go to database access and click on add a new database user. Here use your username and password authentication, and remember this database password because we will need to use it later, once you did just click on add user. Wait for some time until it deploy your changes. Once you completed everything, go to databases to create a new cluster, click on build a database, here you will see three plans, these two are paid, and the other one is free, we will use the free version. Do changes in the cluster if you want, or leave it normal, and click on create cluster. Now wait for some time until it fully create your cluster, it will take about 3 or 4 minutes. Once your cluster is created, you will see something like this. Now the last thing is just to get your MongoDB URL. To get the URL, click on the connect, and then click on the second one which is connect your application, here, select your driver, and version of it. Now, copy this URL in the box and paste it in any notepad or text editor. The last thing is just you will need to enter the password you used for database user, and you are done. You will need to enter that password here, and save this URL somewhere, because we will need to use it later. Number 3, Hosting the Bot Once you completed the previous steps, it's time to host the bot, click on the link given in the description, and you will be redirected here, click on fork rep l and wait for some time. After that, click on the lock icon, which is also called Secrets, in the key section, type token in capital letters, and in the value box, enter your bot token which you created. If you are using an old bot then first regenerate token, and then copy. After copying your bot token, paste it in the value box and click on add a new secret key to save it. Now go to your main files, and go to config.jsn, here search for mongodb, and replace this URL with your MongoDB URL, which you created before. After copying, just paste your URL here as I'm doing. And also paste it in the second URL. And yes, I forget to show in the video, you will also need to put your MongoDB URL in database.json. After doing these steps, just click on Run button to host your bot, and if you get these messages in the shell, it means that you are ready to go and use your bot. I'm on my Discord, and you can see the bot is online. Now, to test the bot, just type s and exclamation point and type help to get the list of all the commands which the bot have. You can see the bot is working fine. Now let me show you from where you can change your bot activity status prefix and some other things. First, I will show you from where you can change your bot activity status. To change the status, go back to your rep l, then go to index.js and come to line number 285, and from here you can change your activity status to whatever you want. For example, you can change the playing type to watching or something else, and type your message instead of the help command. Number 2, changing your bot prefix. To change the bot prefix, go to config.json, and on the line number 3, 
you can change the prefix to whatever you want, for example from the old prefix to question mark or something else. By the way, this bot token is from the old source code, so you can remove this line if you want because this token and line is useless if you think I will use it for something. After doing this, just run your bot again and check if it's working or not. So you can see the bot is working fine on the new prefix. Now let me show you from where you can change these important links and can use your own. To change these, again go to REPL, then go to Commands folder, now go to Help folder, and then go to Help JS. Here you can also change other messages or links if you want, come to the end of the code, and from here you can change the links, like, your bot invite link, your discord server, and your website if you want. For your bot invite link, you will also need to put your bot invite link in invite.js, or that link will not work. I didn't change the links and messages because I will delete this code after this video, now it's time to host the bot 24 7 hours, but before that, make sure to join my discord server, because my server is dead. Alright let's start. First of all run your bot on replace.it, and here you will see your rep l url, just copy this link, then open a new tab and search uptime robot, and then click on the first link which the ethical website of uptime robot. Here, if you don't have an account then click on register for free, and if you already have then click on login. I will login because I already have an account, and also registration of this website is very simple. Once you log or signed up, you will see something like this. Now click on add a new monitor, then select HTTPS, enter your computer name, here, enter the URL which you copied, leave the other option normal. Then click on create monitor, and again click on create monitor. Your monitor is created but still you will need to wait for 4 to 5 minutes. Wait for 4 to 5 minutes and refresh your page and see if it's completed or not. So after 5 minutes I refreshed the page and the monitoring is completed, now your bot will online 24 7 hours for free without any cost. And you will also see your stats here, like downtime or any other data. So this is the end of the video and it took me a lot of time to edit the video. So please make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel for more upcoming contents. Take care of yourself and peace out.